This bill is personal to me on many levels. As the youngest of 11 kids in a family that often struggled to make ends meet, I grew up in the shadow of heavy industrial facilities in the harbor area in South Los Angeles. I can tell you that escaping concrete and asphalt for the green grass of a city park and Little League practice meant the world to me. It was literally a breath of fresh air. Today in that same neighborhood and others like it throughout our country, urban areas, underserved neighborhoods and communities of color experience disproportionate levels of air and water pollution. They also have fewer green spaces to enjoy. A 2017 survey found that in Los Angeles County, 51% of residents live more than half a mile from a park and the number of ball fields and playgrounds are well under the national average. This disparity is further exacerbated in communities of color. While the average amount of parkland in the county survey was 3.3 acres of parkland per 1,000 residents, the city of Compton, for example, in my district, reported only 0.6 acres of parkland per 1,000 residents. Compare that to the city of Malibu, which has three times the median household income of Compton and has 55.5 acres of parkland per 1,000 residents. This is nearly 100 times more parkland. This vast difference in access to open spaces highlights the importance of dedicated federal park funding for urban communities. Every kid, no matter where they live and what their income level is, deserves to play on grass and to explore the natural world. Access to the outdoors can ignite the enthusiasm of young people for their community and their environment.